But I can't help but be sad for Lake and Riley and her family who didn't have to have this. And he wasn't paroled for any of those reasons. And we're going to get into that in the question and answer. You've either said you don't have the knowledge, you've been asked about this multiple times, but we're going to ask again, how did the murder of Lake and Riley get into this country? And what is the statute that allowed you to do it? How could you? And how could you sleep at night? Here's the truth, uh, Nez Nation. Alejandro Mayorkas, the Secretary of Homeland Security, paroled Lake and Riley's killer into the U.S. Paroled. He had a criminal record. He then committed a crime against a child in New York. Could have been any of our children. No prosecution. In fact, he got a work permit. And then he killed Lakin Riley. Mayorkas knew all of this. He lied about it. I'll tell you what the difference is. Congressman Bishop didn't have the profile. And Senator Britt didn't have the parole file. And now we do have the parole file. And now we all know that the reason he was paroled into this country was because lack of detention capacity, which, as you and I both know, is not a valid reason under the statute. And now that we know that for sure, this is right out of the parole file. Here it is. Subject was paroled due to detention capacity at the Central Processing Center in El Paso, Texas. Now, suddenly, you don't want to talk about it. This is extraordinary. It's also a pattern with you. So let me just try one more time. Have you read the parole file? Senator, I'm going to uh, give the same answer, and, and let me say it. Well, which you. one? Are you going to let give me... me the answer you gave to Senator Britt? Are you going to give the answer you gave to Congressman Bishop or the answer you gave to Senator Paul? Or do you want to try a fourth one? Senator, I, I will not speak to the particulars of the case, uh, given the pending criminal prosecution. Yeah, well, I'm sure. Well, of... you certainly, of course you don't want to, because it is an absolutely damning indictment of your policies. Let's just review Jose Barrera and how Ibarra rather and how he came to be here. On September the 8th, 2022, he was encountered by United States Border Patrol in El Paso, Texas, and was paroled into the United States due to lack of detention capacity. A provision, a proviso, a rule that is not permitted under the statute. You and I both know you know this. You knew it when you were talking to Congressman Bishop. You knew it when you were testifying to Senator Britt, and you know it today. You just never wanted to cop to it because the statute doesn't permit it. And so you lied to Congressman Bishop and you lied to Senator Britt. And now you are hiding behind the ongoing prosecution excuse because it's the last one left to you because you testified falsely under oath. These are the people that are being handed these positions and that affect everybody, that affect all Americans. Lakin Riley should be alive today. These are the same people that handed out flyers in Mexico saying, hey, vote for Joe Biden. That way we can leave the border open for four years. They're passing out pamphlets. They're promoting open borders. They're promoting a free access to our country, to illegals, criminals, rapists, murderers, gangs, thugs. These are the people. They got blood on their hands. They're responsible. Tombstone Biden, uh, Obama and Clinton, who were really probably pulling all the strings. Kami Kamala, pushing daisies Pelosi. Useless Schumer, anti-American Schumer, pro-Ukrainian Schumer. And then Weasel Schiff, the whole consortium. And their new rising all-star, their MVP, Greasy Gavin, the guy who's ruining my state as we speak. Here's some more footage right here. Check this out. Sponged. Nothing is done to this guy. He had a criminal record to start with. He's in the country on illegal grounds. You have falsely and illegally allowed him in. He commits a crime against a child. He's not prosecuted. It's expunged. In November, get this, in November, Ibarra files an application for employment authorization. And unbelievably, on December the 9th, 2023, it's approved. So this is your policies in action, Mr. Secretary. A criminal is permitted into this country on grounds flatly not permitted, flatly contradictory to the statute. He commits a crime against a child, and then he gets a work permit. He gets a work permit. You want to know why all of the jobs in the last two or three years have gone to illegal migrants, working people in this country, 
can't get a job, their unemployment rate's high. Why? Because of things like this. And then what's he do? Well, we all know that in February, he commits the heinous crime against Lake and Riley. Is this a record that you are proud of? Um, uh, Senator, um, you've misstated some facts. I have read from the parole file, which you have said you don't recall, don't have, you miscited. I'm reading from it. It is right here. And I've just, pursuant to the speech and debate clause, I have just read it into the record. And the reason is, you have lied repeatedly to Congress and to the American people about this. They deserve to know. And the only way they're going to know is if I tell them. I've just told them. It's in the record now. I've read it verbatim from the parole file. Verbatim. I just want to know, why did you change your story so often? Why didn't you just answer honestly to Congressman Bishop and Senator Britt? Senator, I am... I am confident that justice will be vindicated in the criminal prosecution of the case. Well, hopefully he'll get more of a trial than you got. Otherwise, there'll be no justice for anyone at all. I mean, you just you just absolutely have to love Senator Hawley. I, I've said this in previous videos. I think this guy could be the future of not only the Republican Party, not only the side that's on sanity, practicality, um, and don't get me wrong, there's some things that I, 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 you know, again, I'm more of a centrist. I'm neither right or left. I just love my country. And people have called me a right-wing extremist or a Trumper or whatever, but I just want to get back to what our forefathers envisioned for this country. I want to get back to the Constitution. I want to get back to our values and principles that made this country exceptional. Um, I think that he is not only the future of the party, but I think I've said this before, bookmark this, this guy could be president someday. He is absolutely um, talented, articulate, intelligent. Uh, he he's 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 strong in his convictions and his beliefs, his values and principles. And I think he fights for his constituents. I I deeply, genuinely feel that he cares about this country and he cares about the people of Missouri who he represents. Um, but you've got actual proof that Lake and Riley was unalived by a known criminal thug illegal migrant who was not only allowed by these policies to enter the country not only was he given free access to all of our beautiful land by these policies and by this criminal alejandro mayorkas but he was paroled and given a work permit Senator Hawley read directly verbatim from the parole file, literally following a logistical, sequential paper trail of events that are direct outcomes of these policies. This is why the stakes could not be higher. And Chuck Schumer dismissed the articles of impeachment without even a trial. Chuck Schumer, who's in charge of the Senate, just completely dismissed no, nope, we're not going to have a trial. No, this is this is just political. Anyway, back to Ukraine. Can we give them billions of dollars while Americans suffer? Are you paying attention, America? Are you waking up, America? Are you seeing why I'm doing this channel? Are you seeing why I produce these videos? Why I'm trying to spread awareness? If we don't do something, if we don't galvanize 2024 and let these tyrant fascist criminals retain power, we are cooked. Check out what Rand Paul, um, I, I really love how Rand Paul, the, the reason this video is being produced is because Rand Paul and Senator Hawley literally proved that not only Lake and Riley, poor Lake and Riley and her family, God bless you guys. If you're watching, God bless you. We are with you. There's nothing else I can say. I'm a father. I've got a daughter who's 10. I've got a son who's 12. There's nothing else I can say. I mean, that, that won't sound ridiculous. I'm just sorry. I'm I'm devastatingly sorry. Um, these guys have proven that not only Lake and Riley, but God knows how many other countless deaths, robberies, stress, um, criminal deviance, uh, egregiousness that these, these policies, these outcomes have yielded for the American people. We need to make 
a change. Listen to Ram, Ram Paul right here. So when you come to us and you say, oh, gosh, if we only had more legislation, we could do it. Why, do, why don't you uh, bring back the executive orders of Donald Trump that seem to be working? You, you immediately got rid of them for political purposes. The border's a disaster. Why don't you bring back the 92 executive orders that you reversed? I respectfully, um, uh, Ranking Member Paul, disagree with the premise of your question. That's because you refuse to look at the facts, and uh, it's still, you know, I guess insulting to all of us and insulting to the memory of Lake and Riley and to the memory of others who have been killed by people who came into this country. March 2nd, an illegal alien who got into the country as a gotaway killed Washington State Trooper Christopher Gadd. Haitian man who entered the U.S. via the CHNV parole program was arrested for sexual assault of a 15-year-old girl. March 21st, illegal aliens in El Paso rushed the fence. You saw that on national television. An illegal alien on March 23rd murdered 25-year-old Michigan resident Ruby Garcia. Chinese national came across he the border looks and illegally proud breached a military this. base in California. I mean, the stories go on and on. And I think a lot of people in America are going to be appalled, you know, that you refuse to answer the questions. Um, Jose Ibarra, you know, is it, was it lawful to parole him? Was it lawful to let him in the country uh, because you say the camp's full? Uh, ranking member uh, Paul is a, uh, a former federal prosecutor for 12 years. I can say with tremendous conviction that individuals who commit uh, criminal acts need to be held accountable for their crimes. Well, that's not much consolation if you wait until after he's murdered somebody. See, part of the problem is, and I think people would be aghast to know this, that when you come in, you just give people your name, right? It's the honor system. There may be some databases you check, but certainly most of the domestic crimes in Venezuela probably are not in any kind of international database. So if you waltz into the country through your generous parole programs and say, I'm John Smith from Venezuela, you have no way of ascertaining that, and you still let them go. So you say, well, we're going to make sure that they're not a violent criminal. You have no way. You look in some databases, maybe they're not in the database. But you have no way of even knowing that that's their name. Then you give them biometric, you give them, you know, you, you, you give them uh, fingerprints. Now they have a new name and fingerprints. They essentially have been given a new identity by your agency. I don't know. I, I'm just so sickened and sad by the, the families that have lost loved ones from this. I don't see real remorse. I don't see you're willing to answer the questions. I mean, if it were me, Zero. I would be so upset by this. I would be doing everything possible to make sure that another Jose Ibarra doesn't get in. But apparently you let his brother in, too. And his brother's got a rap sheet 10 times longer than Jose does. And so, I don't know. All I can express is disappointment and bewilderment that the Democrats let you get away with it. As a father, uh, I, I just, I, I would be, I would be in prison right now. After, after listening to this, after understanding that my own country allowed these brutal, cold-blooded murderers into our country, and this wasn't an accident, this wasn't just a random uh, vandalizing uh, act of um, uh, um, crime, these were crimes, these were criminals who could have been prevented, who could have been... You, you heard what uh, Rand Paul said. Why don't you just bring back the 92 executive orders that Trump had in place? They seem to be working. He said, I respectfully disagree with that. The same guy who passed out flyers promoting open borders to all of the illegal migrants, criminals, rapists, murderers, thugs, cartel members, saying, come on in. As long as you vote for Biden, we'll keep this thing open. So I guess the real thing uh, I just want to say and, and kind of end with this is, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, Nez Nation, is what you do in November is going to have a direct consequence on families across America, hardworking, middle-class, blue-collar Americans who pay their taxes, who go to work every single day, who try to lead decent lives, who uh, try to embody the values and principles of our country, who are just literally trying to have some semblance of normalcy in their lives. And their lives are going to be completely 1 billion percent 
affected by this in negative ways that we haven't even begun to imagine. God forbid they meet the tragic fate of Miss Riley and her family. Um, but understand that what you do in November is going to have a direct consequence on whether or not we can prevent further Lake and Riley incidents or not. That's just a fact. There's no hyperbole. This is not conspiracy. There's no facetiousness. This isn't um, histrionics. I'm not being dramatic. It's just a fact. You heard from the horse's mouth. This is the Secretary of Homeland Security. You heard from the horse's mouth. I disagree. I respectfully disagree with tr uh, Trump's border policies. No remorse, no sense of guilt. Seems to be able to sleep at night knowing that he got all these people killed. God knows how many other Lake and Rileys are out there. God knows how many Lake and Rileys are. We don't even know. And that number is just going to increase. So I solemnly ask you to tap this thumbs up, uh, as nation, because we need to spread the word. These are the most consequential times. This election is the most consequential election in our republic since 1861. We've got to spread the word. Share this video with everybody. Share it everywhere. People need to know that these are the people who hold the keys to the gates. These are the people in charge of the safety, peace, liberty, the pursuit of liberty, and the ability for us to raise our families and have a sense of normalcy in our lives in the greatest country on earth. If you made it this far, don't forget to become a Nez Nation Insider. It's in the pinned comment. It's our free newsletter so you don't miss out on anything. It's in the pinned comment, description, and show notes. Consider becoming a member uh, we've got a brand new Discord uh, for members only, as well as all the other perks, exclusive content, badges next to your name, live stream shout outs. Let me know what you think of this. I want to hear you in the comments. Let me know. Check out these videos coming up right now. Follow, subscribe, and as always, God bless you, your families, and God bless America. I'll see you soon.